Hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Dream Beauty. My name is Captain Derek. I'm Chef Ursula. Great, so um, how'd you guys uh, get into chartering in the Bahamas? What's your background? Uh, well, um, I was born and raised in uh, Reading, Massachusetts, so I'm a little Boston boy. Uh, then I uh, moved down to uh, St. John in the Virgin Islands in 2016. Three days uh, into my uh, arrival there, I went on a sailboat and that kind of changed the course of history uh, for me. And I decided that uh, I wanted to learn how to sail and uh, utilize some of my background from uh, fishing in Alaska to uh, become a captain on uh, term charter boats and uh, sailboats. How about you, Ursula? Yeah, a little bit about me. So I grew up in Shawville, Quebec, which is in Canada. Um, I grew up sort of in the woods, so it was uh, definitely a different environment than being on a boat and in the, the ocean. Uh, I got into boating and yachting uh, about four years ago. Uh, I was in the U.S. Virgin Islands and I got the opportunity to work on a boat and ever since then I've been joining different boats and having uh, different experiences around the Caribbean. Awesome. Uh, so what would you say your favorite charter memory is and what made it special? Uh, I, get, I have so many. Oh man. Uh, that's so difficult. Okay, so I'm not bragging. Uh, but uh, with my time on the sea, probably like seven years now, I've seen 50 Eagle Ray breaches. Uh, and it's true. I counted it and I marked it every night. And then, uh, so I was telling guests about it. And like, how do you see an Eagle Ray? And I said, well, if I yell Eagle Ray, you've already missed it. And they're like, well, how do you do it? And I said, well, you go stare out at the water. And then at that moment, we all stared out at the bow and an Eagle Ray breached across our bow and the look on their faces, ah, I get chills. Uh, the looks on their faces, how they whip back at me and the, the joy of seeing an Eagle Ray breach or, I mean, if you see a dolphin or a whale or, or anything that's amazing uh, on the water, those, those are definitely my favorite memories. Hmm. I think for me, one that really stood out would be, uh, we were headed to St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands and there was a swarm of birds and you know when you see birds you go directly towards them and uh, with the fishing rods out and I think in maybe four minutes we caught maybe eight tuna, big tuna. And so we had all this fresh tuna on board. We made sashimi, I made sushi. And then when we almost got to St. Croix, we we're maybe 20 minutes out, we uh, came, uh, came upon a huge pot of dolphins. So it was just one after the other. We got our sushi and then we saw some dolphins. So that was a very memorable uh, experience. Awesome. Dolphins. So um, when you guys aren't chartering, uh, what would you say your favorite off-season hobbies are? Uh, for me, um, I love the mountains. So uh, you know, down here in the Bahamas or in the Virgin Islands, I'm in the mountains. It's just my valleys are filled with oceans. Uh, so in the off season, I like to go to uh, Utah or uh, the White Mountains in New England, but I'm mostly Utah and explore the Southwest from Zion to, Na to the Wasatch or anything, uh, mountains. And uh, I definitely like that off season where I get to see some of those aspens turn or the leaves turn. So I kind of need that a little bit for my soul. Uh, but that's, that's what I like, mountains. Give me some mountains. Mm. Well, I come from mountains, so for me, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things to do, uh, hobbies also is traveling, but uh, I would say going to Central South America, it's sort of my home away from home. So that is something that I, I really love doing, seeing different cultures and sort of being um, immersed and uh, learning something that you didn't learn before. So that's... Uh, that's probably, yeah, that's something that I, I do quite regularly uh, when it comes to a hobby and when I can get away and go off somewhere is going to Central South America. Awesome, sounds so good. Um, so speaking of traveling, um, what would you say your favorite vacation was and what made it special? Uh, I, I apologize, by the way, uh, this is improv. I just saw a manta ray breach. Um, so it's way back there, but everybody <laughs> missed it. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so let's see, I would say hands down uh, was my trip to India. I was 26. I had a job offer to be a manager and I decided that I had to go see India first. So 
pack my bags and it was the first time out of the country. Uh, so I spent backpacking three months in India and that was a life changing experience to, to be in a different culture and to learn, um, different foods and different, different ethnic, like just anything that was different there was a, a life changing experience to me, I think. So I think about it all the time, actually. How about you, Ursula? What would you say your favorite vacation was? Um, I would say probably going back to Central South America. I love Colombia. I've been numerous times now. Uh, and again, just immersing yourself in a different culture and learning different, you know, different things that the culture has to offer, uh, different cuisines, of course. Uh, and just lovely people there. So I would say that as a whole, uh, yeah, it's the whole package. So um, Colombia was uh, is definitely at the top. Great. Uh, so bringing it back to the Caribbean, uh, what would you say your favorite area is in the Bahamas to bring guests to? Well, you could just generalize and say the Exumas. The uh, the color of the water down there is mm -hmm. is mind-blowing uh it's um uh, it's spectacular the sunsets um i love going to shroud key uh it's a really pretty mangrove that we can weave our way through uh i think everybody loves that but i think uh o'brien key has a nice place to uh it's called the aquarium which is really nice to snorkel and of course uh thunderbolt grotto uh which i loved it the lights shooting through the top of the grotto uh, cascading. I saw, I don't know, the last time I was there was probably eight different gigantic um, uh, nurse sharks and queen angels. It's, it's really beautiful. It's a, it's a must see. I agree with all that, but probably my favorite place is Shroud. Uh, I think it has one of the most beautiful beaches because you go through the mangroves. It's like a 10 minute weaving in and out. Um, and then you get to this beautiful white sandy beach and then this beautiful crystal blue ocean and I would say it's probably the most beautiful beach I've ever been to so uh, that is definitely hands down my favorite uh, favorite place in the Exumas. That's a fun time too. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, so what would you say if you guys have any special or unique skills that you like to do with the guests on Charter what would they be? I, I love to snorkel. Uh, that was probably one of the f first things I fell in love with when I got down to the Caribbean. Uh, I love uh, snorkeling with guests and, you know, maybe some people have, have the good experience, uh, but if not, I'm there to point out different fish and uh, point out different things that maybe maybe you wouldn't see. Uh, so I really like that. And if you want to get your face in the water, I will be there right next to you. And Derek loves getting his face in the water. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, for me, uh, so, uh, one of my other trades, I'm a professional violinist. And so one of the experiences that we have, uh, that we offer is having a music night on board. Uh, we put the twinkle lights out on the bow and we have a really beautiful ambiance. Um, and then we put on a, a show. Derek does a little bit of emceeing and then I get going and I start playing. I play a very wide genre of, uh, styles of music uh, on the violin. Uh, and so I can cater to basically any genre and uh, any style that the guests uh, would prefer. So uh, I would say that that is something that is very unique and something that is great to offer on this boat. It definitely is. That's a cool, cool skill. Um, all right, so Ursula, let's, let's dive more into your food. Um, describe your favorite dish and who or what influences your cooking style? Mm. Well, I have lots of different dishes. I love food, obviously. So um, I grew up on a farm in Canada. So something that is a part of my roots is farm to the table. So I love cooking with fresh produce. Um, and the, the chef that has influenced that is Jamie Oliver. He's from the UK. He uh, started a, a TV um, show called The Naked Chef. So growing up, I would watch that with my family. It was a regular thing that we did with the family. Um, and the way that he 
sort of approach his food is very similar. You know, he has gardens and he's all about simplicity, yet bringing something beautiful to the table. And I really love how he's an advocate for eating healthy um, and going back to how it was before. So when it comes to, you know, having a garden and having a herb garden and going out and grabbing some herbs, a tomato, you know, some basil and making a sandwich, you know. So for me, I would say that he's a very big inspiration for why I do what I do. Uh, so, yeah. Awesome. And um, what would you say are really fun dishes that you've heard really good feedback from guests about that you can describe? Hmm, well, there's many, <laughs> but I'd say a big one is a seafood boil that I do. So I have crab legs, lobster, potatoes. I throw it all on the table with some shrimp and some sausage and corn. Uh, and it's kind of fun, you know, you know, we have the, the formal, you know, plating and stuff most nights, but then, you know, when the guests can be a little bit wild and if they want to throw some corn at each other, they can. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's something kind of informal and, and it's fun. And uh, I've had some very good feedback when it comes to that in the past. And we just got off charter and we had done that and everyone was super hyped for that meal. So, yeah. Awesome. There, yeah, and if you're favorites. lucky, oh yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, <laughs> if you're lucky, you get the, uh, my favorite uh, dish is, uh, it comes a round dish. Uh, it's three layers high and it's a double chocolate cake. So that's my favorite dish. Uh, but her braised beef is also mm. pretty amazing. Short ribs. Um, short ribs, yes. Uh, there's, lunches are always nice, breakfasts are delicious. Um, it's, you, you will not be hungry. Yeah, and something else to mention too is that I own a catering business back in Canada and we cater to dietary restrictions and allergies. And so as much as you know, I offer meat and seafood on board, I also tailor to people with dietary restrictions. Um, and maybe go more the plant-based approach. So it can be very versatile with what I can cook uh, mm -hmm. and what we can offer you, so. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing all that and, uh, and yeah. Yeah. Well, thank th you. Yeah, thank you guys for listening to us. Uh, and we're definitely looking forward to welcoming you aboard here on uh, Dream Beauty down in the Bahamas. Yeah, we'll see you soon. That's awesome.